It's time now for a look latest in local news and news primary Tuesday in the books. And here in Wayne County, we have the results of the local contested races in both the school board and the county commission. We begin with the school board contested races. District 2, Bruce Harris, the incumbent, defeats his opponent, Kelvin Mock. The vote count Tuesday night, 594 for Bruce Harris, 286 for Kelvin Mock. Bruce Harris down at the courthouse, and he had these thoughts on the victory. Harris, who retains a seat in District 2. Congratulations. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Campaigns are always tough. Anytime you have a phone, you just never know how people are going to vote. So what do you think was the key to winning this race? Well, I've, I believe people do realize I've, we've, I've done the best that I know how to do, and, and I, I learn. I know I had 30 years of teaching, but you still learn every day, and you learn every meeting just about. And uh, I, I believe that people know that I listen to them. Because I did. I listened to every person that called me and try to do what's right. Let's just try to do what's right. And we didn't always get everything right, especially with COVID, but but we we were able to back up when we didn't and say, let's back up and do this again and get it right. So we come January, there'll be two new board members talking about right. one district three without a runoff in, um, in District 5. Nick Ellis defeated by Tina Mosley. So, mm -hmm. your thoughts on the new board come January? Well, I mean, we'll have a, a It'll be a situation where we'll have to learn each other, and but uh, we'll we'll sit down and go with it and try to do the best that we can do uh, for our county, for our students, and for our teachers, just like we always have. Well, the great thing about two candidates in the race is over tonight. There's no it's no over talk tonight. Lord so, have mercy. I mean, thank you, Jesus. Campaign. So again, congratulations. Well, thank you. I do appreciate it. I would like to take just a second though and and say that we're praying for those that families all those families in texas this is horrible and the bad part is is we're in the school business too and we have to watch out for all kind of stuff just like this and i don't have a clue what those families are going through but we're praying for them and those comments of bruce harris again a winner in district two and district five the incumbent nick ellis the chairman of the board was defeated last night tina mosley the challenger wins the race by a vote count of 396 to 316 we caught up with tina mosley after the vote count and she had these comments. Here at Tina Mosley, winner of District 5, congratulations. Thank you so very much. It's always tough to be an incumbent. How would you pull it off? A lot of hard work and a lot of support from friends and family. And um, I just and I, I just worked hard. I kept kept on going on. <laughs> well, you're a former teacher. I went to one of your meet and greet earlier. That's the impression I got. There were a lot of teachers in your corner. It seemed like you had a lot of support from the teachers at Wayne County. Yes, I did. And um, and I spoke at some events as well. And then after I spoke at some events, people told me that, you know, they didn't realize that I had the experience that I had until they had heard that. And that really made them want me to be in that position because I do know the school system so well. And as a former teacher, what can you bring to the board? What will resonate with those voters that voted for you? Um, I can definitely bring my experience as an administrator and a teacher. I know what the teachers go through because I've been there. I know what the administrators go through and um, I want to be their voice. I want to be able to, I want to be their champion and do what's right for our teachers and our students. Okay, well, again, congratulations. We look forward to working with you in January. Thank you so much. Any of those comments are winner in District 5, Tina Mosley. School Board will have two new members come January 2023. Tina Mosley in District 5, Todd Wise in District 3. He ran unopposed in District 3. He'll join incumbents Joe McPipkin in District 1, Bruce Harris in District 2, and Sharon Daniel in District 4. In the contested county commission races, we begin with District 5, the rematch between Kathy Keith and the incumbent and challenger Jamie Hickox, who wins the race Tuesday. Total vote count last night, 362 for Jamie Hickox, 263 for Kathy Keith. Jamie will take over in January. We caught up with her last night as well. Jamie Hickox winner tonight in District 5. It's kind of the rematch, but more people voted. So your thoughts on the victory? Oh, well, first, it's all because of God. He just put his hand on us, and we went, and we worked, and, and we're blessed, and we're grateful. And second, you know, I got to thank Kathy for running two very hard races in such a short amount of time and most of all I'm honored um, by the voters of District 5 who had confidence in me and I will work tirelessly to serve them. You got a few more months before you get on the board but once you get on the board you already said you're going to be an ally for Kevin McCreary so I'm sure he's happy that you're one. I haven't talked to him yet but I'm sure he is. <laughs> I am. I respect him. I know he's a good, godly man, and I just look forward to 
the best of Wayne County. I look forward to everybody's voice being heard. I look forward to shining light on everything that we're doing. If, we, if we're going to build a judicial complex, let's bring everybody to the table. Let's sit down and let get, let's get everybody's opinion on it because we're all Wayne County. We're all invested. Okay, well, congratulations. Thank you so much. And those comments, Jamie Hickox, the winner in District 5. Congratulations to Tim Hopkins. He wins a four-man race in District 3 without a runoff last night. Tim Hopkins takes 442 votes. Second place, Larry Brantley's 106. Corbett Nichols tallied 67 votes. And Morris Melvin, a former city commissioner, only seven votes in last night's election. Tim Hopkins, the winner in District 3. He'll be our special guest tomorrow on the world-famous Butch and Bob Show. In District 1, a runoff between Mike Ward and Brian Griffiths. Mike Ward, the front runner, with 453 votes. Brian Griffiths, second place, with 307. Stephen Jones, the odd man out. He received 217. Once again, District 1, a runoff between Mike Gordon and Brian Griffiths, and that runoff will take place in June. District 2, incumbent Kevin McCreary unopposed. District 4 will be decided in November between Democratic winner last night, incumbent James Thomas, and Republican winner last night, Fred Anderson. And those are the results of the local contested races. We'll come back, take a look at the statewide races. Before we do, again, 34% of Wayne County voters participated in Tuesday's primary, 6,091 votes cast in the county. That out of the 17,603 registered voters, again, 34% voted in the primary here in Wayne County. Again, we'll come back, take a look at the statewide results right after this word from our sponsor, other commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Looking at the statewide races from Tuesday's primary, a huge win for Governor Brian Kemp as he defeats his Republican opponent, David Perdue, by a 3-1 to one margin. Perdue conceded the race early Tuesday night and vowed to do all he can to support Governor Kemp in his bid to defeat Democratic candidate Stacey Abrams in November. Surprising win for Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. He avoids a runoff, overcoming three challengers. Raffensperger defeated Jody Heiss, the Democratic race for the Secretary of State, headed for a runoff. Herschel Walker, a big win in the race for U.S. Senate. He now faces incumbent Raphael Warnock. Herschel taking nearly 68% of the statewide vote. His nearest challenger was Ag Commissioner Gary Black. He received 14% of the vote Tuesday night. Attorney General Chris Carr, a big win. He defeats John Gordon. Georgia School Superintendent Richard Woods wins his primary. Locally, State Representative Stephen Meeks wins easily. He carries over 80% of the vote in the district over his Republican challenger. And the T-Sploss vote in Wayne County was the past here in Wayne County. The yes votes 1,980, the no votes 1,600. Also passed district-wide, so that money continues to flow to Wayne County, which has benefited Wayne County with major projects like the Billy Clanton overpass. And those are some of your statewide results from Tuesday night. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes of news, a reminder of Wayne County High School's graduation set for this Friday night at J.C. Stadium. 7.30 is the time. Public is invited to attend. Should be a packed house Friday night. Thursday, scholarship scholarship award ceremony. That's by invitation only. That begins tomorrow night at the High School Auditorium at 7 p.m. This is Memorial Day weekend. The Wayne County Veterans Memorial Wall Board having a service to the Memorial Wall in front of Wayne Memorial Hospital Monday, May 30th at 10 a.m. Public invited to attend. If you need additional information, contact Larry Brantley at 294-3604. Today, the J.C. Landing Bait Store and Campground Grand Opening Ribbon Cutting. That gets underway today at 11 to 1, and the public invited to that. And also, the Catfish Tournament set for the weekend of June 4th and 5th. You can sign up at the Tourism Board office or call the office at 427-3233 or check out the event website at waynetourism.com. Again, tourism. Director Heather Altman will be in the studio today to talk about the Catfish Tournament, also the Bicycle Ride Across Georgia, two events coming up here in Wayne County. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, have a great day.